For 300 years, downtown Manhattan has been the economic engine for the U.S. and in the 20th century, the capital of world markets. Since mid-century, downtown Manhattan has had a history of revivals, multi-billion dollar band-aids that are cramped by overcrowded subways and a lack of interconnecting transportation systems. For the past 40 years, every decade witnessed a plan to make Lower Manhattan relevant and vibrant. In the 70s, it was the World Trade Center, which added 13 million square feet of subsidized office space. In the 80s, it was the World Financial Center and Battery Park City, hailed as the most successful urban development of the decade. It attracted 25,000 new residents but no new transit connections to get people there. In the 90s, it was the rewiring of Wall Street. And just before September 11th, plans were in place to make Lower Manhattan a new cultural center, anchored by Frank Gehry's proposed Guggenheim Museum on the East River. The rebuilt PATH train will not only connect with the west side line, but also extend eastward and connect to the new Fulton Central Station. A new 2nd Avenue subway line will create huge benefits for the city. First it decongests the single east side line, then it brings the region to downtown to work, shop and play in a revitalized lower Manhattan. Great cities take great planning.